<laughs> the king of creation, the son of God, and the son of man. Jesus knew our life because he came to live with us. Jesus walked on the earth, a man himself, looking the same as all of us. But he is the king of all creation. He rules the world, and he will come again. Advent, the season, is not to get ready uh, the Christmas tree. It's not to get ready for a baby in a manger. <laughs> the Christmas season is different than Advent. Advent is to get ready for the, the, Santa Claus. Second coming. Not Santa Claus. It's to get ready for Jesus to come again. For Jesus himself to come riding on the clouds with glory. Yesterday, our funeral year, Ed is gone. He's not gone. And Ed is gone to be with Jesus. The reading today, it says we wait until Jesus comes with his holy angels. And the reading says, holy ones. Okay. Ones. What does that mean? Many of the hearing churches translate that to holy angels. But it's not only holy angels. That also includes Ed. That includes Jim Cornett, my friend. It includes Sparky, my friend. It includes Doris. And yeah. And yeah. And uh, Catherine and uh, Ruth, uh, Minna. And I'm remembering all of the names of the uh, people that I have, yeah, right. The many people that I have done the funerals for here. Um, yesterday, the uh, sister said, how long have you been pastor here at Bethlehem? I said, well, I've lived here for 11 years. I don't have a key to the church. <laughs> said, what? I said, yeah, I never had a key to the church. I said, well, how do you get in? I said, I stay home. I, I don't come here every day. I am a vacancy pastor for the church because the district decided to stop paying for any of the district's death ministry. So for the last 11 years, I come when the deaf people want me. I come every Sunday because the deaf people want Jesus here <coughs> preached. And I am happy that the deaf people are not loving the building. The deaf people are loving Jesus. And Jesus makes us holy. The Old Testament lesson says a branch will grow that from the family of King David, that branch is called God makes us right with himself. God makes us right with himself. <clears throat> Who is that branch? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is how God makes us right with himself. 
this box a big box. It doesn't matter. God speaks us and we become his own. He says that we are his holy people. Not only holy angels, but holy people. How does that happen? You are holy? Mike is holy? By faith. Yeah. We believe God's promise. God promises us that we are his holy people. That his church here, not the building, not the stones, not the wood, not the... No. You, God's people, are holy. And it will come again with Jesus. Yesterday, the reading was, I don't want you to misunderstand. Those people who now sleep, their bodies are here. But their spirits are there. And they will come with Jesus. And the people who are living will not go first. The people who are already with Jesus will come. And all of the bodies will rise again. Our bodies in the grave. Uh, two days ago, my father had a problem. He went fishing and he caught six fish. That's the limit. But he stood up and he turned around and tripped and hit his head uh, oh, and uh, passed out and he would not wake up. And my brother drove the car around, put him in the car, took him back up to the cabin, and then called 911. They came out. He was awake already before they came, but he did not remember where he was. Mm -hmm. He did not remember that he had caught any fish. And so they knew there was something wrong, so they took him to the hospital. And they did cat scans, and they said, no, he's okay. He'll be fine. But worry, you know, my father, is he going to die before my funeral? Uh, my father, do I worry? My father, I know, is already a holy one, well, my mother is already there, but my father is a holy one here. And we are named holy, himself naming us holy. If he says a word, all of the green growing things pop up. If he says a word, all of the animals, all of them on earth, appear. One word, he says one word, and makes us holy. We look around, and in our world, Jesus understands there are many problems. There are many Troubles. In this world, there are many reasons to question. God controls this. It seems out of control. What would be more out of control? If the sun were to shake, if the moon was to darken into blood, if the stars would fall down from the sky, what would be worse? Before Jesus comes, that will happen. 
we will see all of the signs that Jesus is coming. Like the tree, the green, the leaves, we know that summer is shortly coming. When we see all of this happening, we know that Santa Claus is <laughs> Santa Claus is not coming again to town. No. That is not Christmas. The reason for Advent. Advent is so we can see that Jesus is coming. That Jesus is shortly going to be here with us. With all of his holy people. Wonderful. So now we have to question. What do we do? What are we going to do as his church? What should we be doing? There are many, many, many deaf people without Ed's faith. There are many people who don't know Jesus. And you are right when you say that we have told them before. We have told them, hey, come to church. Understand, Jesus. Understand God's forgiveness for you. God's promise to you of eternal life. Come on. You've said that before? Yeah. So is once enough? How about twice? Twice? Never in that. Seven times I said, come. <laughs> Until Jesus comes again. It is our honor. It is our joy to tell the deaf people, hey, Jesus is coming back soon. <coughs> come to church. Understand Jesus, his love for you. Understand his promise for you of eternal life. Come, come, come. <clears throat> That's our reason for this church. The reason is not to serve me. The pastor, you come to serve me? No, no, no. The reason for this church is it to serve you? <coughs> the reason for this church is to serve those people who are not here. To serve them and to inform them, like Jesus, to inform all people.